You know, we get asked often about all the different types, styles, and makes of packaging that's going on in the wine industry. And there are so many different innovations and so many different trials that people are trying to see what sticks to the wall. And people are a little tired of maybe the old classic bottle of wine, and maybe they want some other things because nowadays they're trying to see what really works. So you're even seeing people put wine in cans, you're seeing them put them in Tetra Packs. They're trying all kinds of different innovations. The interesting thing about a Tetra Pack or even a box wine is that it's a little bit more environmentally friendly. They have less exposure in the production of glass. It's cardboard, it's very recyclable. The nice thing is if you do like to canoe up in the Boundary Waters, these are particular wines that you can bring up with you. Now the bigger thing is, is why do they do that? Because back in the day they used to have these big Mamba Jamby jugs of wine that once you open them up, they all of a sudden would break down and not be as good. And then you see more of the bag in the box nowadays. So many of these wines back in the day were just kind of considered plunk. They were a manufactured wine. But what you're really seeing is people putting better quality wine inside these different innovative packaging. So the one nice thing is, is just depending on where you might be, whether it's a park that doesn't allow glass, you can grab one of these cans or one of these boxes. The quality is definitely going better. But there's just all kinds of innovation going on in that and the bigger issue is do your homework and make sure the quality that went inside that either bag in a box or the can is there because it's all just different packaging a lot of it's the same great wines and thank you for stopping by Haskells.com